Kayla, please like and subscribe. It's okay. time for Caleb's choice. His choice. His rules. His rules. All right. All right. We're back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Last week we did a, uh, a little bit of trivia, or two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. So today I'm going to start off with a riddle. Oh, man. Oh, no. It's not a hard one. It's oh, just that. Okay. Get, get the, you know. All right. What rock group consists of four famous men that cannot sing? Huh. <laughs> What rock group? What rock group consists of four famous men that cannot sing? Uh, Mount California. Rushmore. Yeah. Good job. What, what did you say? Mount Rushmore. Mount <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I right. never would have got that. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. What uh, smell brings you back to a childhood memory? So, what smell? Um, hmm. Oh. The mm, the old, you know the Old Spice? Like it was in yeah. the old bottles. Like your grandpa's after Oh, yeah. Like the porcelain bottles. Yes, yeah. with the porcelain Weird bottles. top on it. Yeah. Yep. With the little spinny top. Yep. Yeah. I think everybody's grandfather had that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You had a chance to think about this. Um, pipe tobacco or pipe smoke uh, from our, ooh, our grandpa. Yeah. 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 Mm. Holly, you got one? Yeah, so mine is sunscreen. Um, it takes me back to when we, when I was little, we used to go to the community pool mm -hmm. and have the best time. Like our whole friends would go there because it was a tiny little town, little community. So we just used to have the best time. But sunscreen, that really takes me right back to when, okay. when I was little. Rabbit, what about you? Uh, so my family is from Florida, the Panhandle of Florida, and. Uh, for the longest time, my, my grandmother, my dad's mother lived there, and uh, her house always smelled like bacon and mothballs. Oh, and that's a good combo. My parents never let uh -huh, us eat, yeah. yeah, my my mom never let us eat bacon, so like that was like the thing. When we went to Granny's house, like she had bacon every morning. She had boiled peanuts in the afternoon after we got back from the beach. I mean, so anytime uh -huh. I smell bacon or mo and mothballs together, it's like oh, Granny's house. Oh uh, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so mine's food too. It's popcorn. Okay. Because my dad used to, it was a big deal for us on Saturday nights. He would like actually put it on the stove and like pop popcorn. Mm -hmm. And we would play board games and that just that smell of popcorn always brings me back to those nights, which we did a lot. I have a whirly pop. You see those? Oh, a what? A whirly pop. A whirly pop. Oh, the oh. one where you crank it while it's on the yeah. stove? Yeah. Yeah. I have one of those. those I freaking awesome. love that thing. Yeah. I yeah. use it all the time. My dad just had a, a pan, and he would just sit there and kind of shake it around, and then he'd put a lid on it, and he'd get nuts with it and make tons of popcorn. But You're getting crazy. Yeah, those were – I just came across one the other day, and it has some weird – well, you were with yeah. me. Is that, that, the that crank on yeah. it, and it turned – yeah, that's cool. It's awesome. Right. My last one for the day. If uh, somebody steals your favorite pet and holds it ransom, and you have to sing a song, what song – are you going to sing? You have to know all the lyrics to it. So oh, what's... hell. That pet's dead. What? I'm not, I ain't getting it back. What? You got to sing what? You got to sing a song. You get, basically, you, get the song you, you have to know all the to. lyrics to the song to get your pet back. Greg's is oh. some Luke Bryan song. I, yeah, oh, I could, I could, I mean, there's a lot of songs <laughs> I could sing. Yeah. All You know all the lyrics? Yeah. All right, well, what's one of them? Um, sing it now. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> I will. Well, uh, There's so many. I know a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. yeah. I grew up in uh, music, so I'm yeah. like I can hear a song one time and, and know it forever. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, a lot you of country have... songs. I'm gonna cheat on mine. But what is it? Mary tequila. Oh, tequila. <laughs> <You're German. laughs> oh. One word. A Garth. I mean, maybe that summer by Garth Brooks. Okay. See, mine's actually probably That's a Garth Brooks song too. Yeah, yeah. Friends yeah. Of Wild Little Horses. Places, I think I could sing the. Oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I love '90s country. If it's one of those deals yeah. where you like mess up and they die, yeah, then I would want to make sure I didn't mess up, so it would be probably yeah. Friends of Little Places. Yeah, yeah, a Garth Brooks song. <laughs> See, I know a lot of people are like, you know, like 
I grew up with 90s country, so like 90s country is like my jam. Like mm-hmm. that is classic yeah. rock. But I know a lot of people who like 90s country are like hardcore like Garth fans, which like, okay, y'all are going to hate me for this, but I feel like <laughs> Garth Brooks is overrated. Agreed. And yeah, Clint 100%. Black I don't is, disagree with that. Black is underrated. I agree Clint with black that. Is yeah. So much better. Yeah, yeah, I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. I agree with 100%. that. 100%. Yeah. yeah. So on yeah. that, I've seen them both in concert, and both me. concerts are amazing. But Clint Black's to me was amazing because it was so intimate, and it wasn't yeah. in you know a huge stadium where you mm-hmm. couldn't even like literally were probably ten rows from where he was, mm-hmm. and yeah. it was so good. And I forgot so many songs that he sung. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it just took me back to the 90s of, yeah, uh, that was amazing. So I, you get a pass on that one because I, concert wise, yeah, he is definitely better just because it was so intimate. Well, the thing that soured me on Garth Brooks is when they used to have the MTV Cribs mm-hmm. and he answered the door in like a NBA jersey and a huge gold chain with his hat on backwards like he was a rapper and i was like uh and, but that's how he talked too he was like like who he is on stage is not who he is in real life where yeah. i feel like clint black probably is the same person uh, i do too so what was that song there was so there was a a song my dad i know i have it something okay there's a song growing up my dad listened to all the time by Clint Black and it was really popular on the radio and then like forever you never heard it and uh, it was kind of like when iPhones like became a thing and you could download music on iPhones again mm-hmm. and uh, or you know that started and there's a song by Clint Black that they don't play very much but it's like literally the best Clint Black song it's called Nobody's Home and uh, my I found that song for my dad and he was so just like so happy when he found that song again when music came back you know like we were able to find songs easily Um, but that song's always stuck with me because my dad loves it so much it's called nobody's home so if you have a minute go listen to it by clint black it's a really good song yeah Yeah, i've heard it but it has been forever i'm gonna listen to it on the way home yeah Yeah, there you go so what's your what was your song holly what are you picking (laughs) if you mess it up your animal dies yeah all of well, <laughs> I definitely have to go with, and you guys probably have no idea, but it's called Angel Baby by Rosie and the Originals. It's super old, but I literally have listened to that song probably a thousand times in my lifetime because it's my favorite, and I know every single word. Oh, oh, my dog is fighting. <laughs> save your dog. <laughs> save you gotta no, say. He's like, no, start better singing. know it. <laughs> One of no, my big dog Tank passed by her, and she's just a cranky old lady, and got mad over that. So, mm. uh, I don't know. She's weird, but yes, Angel Baby, Rosie and the Originals, one of my uh, favorites, and I know every word, every word. Gotcha, sweet. Yeah. So, everybody answered. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Holly, what's your question for us? Okay. So, what age would you prefer to stay forever? 21. Didn't you ask this once? No, no. Caleb's was, was so- would you rather be 15 uh, or... Okay. And you <laughs> wanted to be a teenager living with your parents forever. I was going to say, <laughs> I instinctively want to say no. 15. Hmm. You still 21, I can do everything I want to be able to do, and I don't, won't hurt as much as I do now. Can you at least say 25 so you can rent a car without having to pay extra? Oh, yeah. Sheesh. No. You want to pay extra? <laughs> I want to pay extra. No. <laughs> you want to pay extra. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, any any time in my 20s would be fine. I'd be good with any of those years. I'd be good in my 30s. I'll say 30. 15. 15. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> stay with this Greg wants to be yeah. three. <laughs> Ever. Uh, forever young, you know? Forever young. Come Are on. Are going to edit that out? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Rabbit? What age? I don't know. Um, 
I like the 20s because it was just me and my husband, but uh, I'm 36 now, and I would, I would probably say like somewhere between like 30 and 33. Yeah. Yeah. So around age. the time when my kids were born. Yeah. 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 I, I'm right now. I'm really happy, but I know when I hit 40, I'm gonna start crying. So yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am only yeah. like a little over a year away from hitting 50. So yeah, yeah. it's yeah. insane. I, my brain still feels 21. It's just my oh, yeah. body doesn't cooperate <laughs> with that. Like, no. Holly, did you answer your own question? No, um, but I think it's going to shock you all. I would want to stay 40 forever. Wow. 40, yeah, 40 I is not bad love, either. I feel like I'm just so now, it's so crazy because I feel like my 20s were very much like learning and trying to get you know into a good place overall my 30s were really to establish that good place that i'm in and now that i'm 40 i feel like everything's just kind of aligned and there like i can, and you can just enjoy it yeah. yes yeah. and that you're right so far i loved loved being in my 40s so if i could stay this age and be as happy as i am today sold you know I, that's I mean, a really good point I don't want to be young. I mean, let's just be honest. Like in my twenties, I dated some real like weirdos, <laughs> right? And, and now I look at you know the twenty-five year old, and I, there is no way in hell I would <laughs> I could go back to dating a twenty-five year old. And yeah, so I mean, at this age, I'm good. Like I'm happy. And yeah, yep. I like the I, mental clarity that's come with this age. Like, yes, I, the See, person that I am now. Yeah. I was pretty awesome in my 20s, though. Like, I've been pretty awesome for a long time, so, you know. No, you know what, Ollie? I think you I think you convinced me. I think you're right. I think 40 is probably it. I think you're good there. Everything is just like, finally enjoy everything. Because you you kind of, for the most part, like your career and mm -hmm. just who you want to be in general is kind of figured out by now. I mean, and now you just enjoy that. Yep, and you mm -hmm. can relax and just appreciate things. Enjoy the yep. adventure. That's, you're not wrong. Well, <laughs> Rabbit, take this opportunity to thank you again for coming on. It's been a blast. Uh, I honestly can't wait to see what things you guys accomplish in the future and can't wait to have you on again. So thank you yes, very we'll much. We'll definitely come back if you'll have us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll that, definitely come I, back if you'll have us. Yeah, I was thinking, well, maybe like after launch, we, you know, once that's kind of established and just kind of going, we can have you guys back and you guys can tell us all about, you know, what you went through with launch and all the different aspects yeah. of that. I think that would be fun. I think it'd be yeah, super we'll, cool. we'll definitely be in a bit a different building phase at that point because right now, you know, our focus is just getting uh, just uh, Citrius power plant essentials compile queue up, and then once we get past that. Um, we'll be building a whole bunch of different, um, you know, phase two, which is like a, uh, acquiesce and advisor retire and those types of things. So we'll just be in a different place then and yeah, it'd be cool to talk about. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we will see you in the Discord sooner than later, I'm sure. And uh, <laughs> troll yeah. us all you want. We're all about it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> But thanks yeah, again I'm for coming I'm, on. I'm the troll on Twitter, so I, oh, if you yeah. see Comply Q trolling somebody, it's me. Now, <laughs> we get along with a lot of trolls on on uh, on Discord and Twitter, so fun it's, it's all good. It's not mean trolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fun trolling. Fun if, trolling. If if it gets mean trolling, fun that's trolling. when we send Caleb after you. So watch yeah, out. Yeah, no, uh, we don't do mean. <laughs> it's fun. All right. Well, thank you again, and guys, have a great weekend, and God bless. Be kind. Bye, guys. Thank you for having me. I'm Kayla. Please like and subscribe. I'm Kayla. Please like and subscribe.